morning. Hello. It's Mark here. I spent half the day yesterday trying to get my name onto Alexa, Amazon, and needless to say, it was very difficult. Some people are all computer savvy. I am too computer savvy, but it just seems like everything that I try to do requires me to, to do it for half a day, whereas young people do things in five minutes. But anyway, I'm not saying I'm an old fogey. I'm just saying I'm not as computer literate as other people. So uh, what do I have in store for you today? I got a very unusual poem for you today. <clears throat> the kind of poem that could get me in trouble, but but it won't. It's about being uh, black in America. But since there isn't a hint of prejudice in it, I'm going to go ahead and recite it. It might cause some waves, but I don't care. I like to say what I think. Here we go. It's called, What is it like to be a black man in America? What is it like to be a black man in America? You're kind of screwed. That is all of it in a few words. But it's not lost. There is still opportunity until the racism will be one day totally gone. But let me elaborate. Maybe there is some positive things I can say. First of all, how should I know my skin is white as snow? But I can take an educated guess and get to the bottom of this conundrum that never goes away. The only advantage of being black is you can hide in the dark of the night much better than I, who has paler skin and don't even know what to think. You will never be able to escape from this. You will need to live with it night and day and embrace it, or else you should pray every day that you never get pulled over by a policeman, for if you do, on that day your life could be taken and everything will be over in a blink of an eye. So drive slower and keep an eye on the rear sight mirror. I understand you. This life is a bit colder as you get older. There's so much hatred for you and all you have is a letter and speech from Martin Luther King. Well, you can see what happened to him. It's just the way it is. I don't know if this for you are getting any better since I see prejudice all over. No matter how successful you are, you know better in a man white's eyes. But not all people are white color. Many have respect for there is some hope. So don't give up. Many are willing to fight. Born out of slavery, the black man's story. A mark in our history. Even a war had to be fought just to get those southern states to talk. So hard-headed they were that it took bullets and fire to bring about what the northern states desired, freedom for all. It was only fair, and I took such a heavy toll to bring this about, so much ignorance we had. It was finally abolished, but the blemish was already polished. Some say all this prejudice one day will be over. There is light for you right around the corner, at the end of the tunnel. Your culture is in peril. It just does not swivel. Maybe the devil had something to do with it. This and that, trust me, will never happen. It's there in it's all the trappings. If you're a bit mixed race, too many, it is the same. Remember, black power, tell me how many followers carried the flowers. On those early days, the marches, I say, with so many people of so many colors. I'm proud of them. I could go on and on, but why should I bother? It's not for me to carry a torch. It's, I'm just one simple soul. And how can I make a difference at all? But I said what I needed to be said, and now I will go back to my privileged life, a cushy white world completely protected by the law. And you too. But sometimes it does not look that way since trials go the wrong way. I know it's not fair. It's just that so few care and do not make fun of your color. Teach this to your children so they can be better humans and humbler. And perhaps someday I will see a change in this game we all call true equality for all of America. 
Thanks for listening to my long poem. Please